Hi there, thank you for joining me for another installment of There You Go with Brian. Today, something a little bit different. I'm right by the water. I'm getting ready to do a uh, show right here in this uh, beautiful space on Rosewood Beach in Highland Park, Illinois. And I thought I'd tell you about a few things here that seemed kind of interesting to me, and I thought they might be interesting to you. So let's check it out. So here we are at Rosewood Beach in beautiful Highland Park along Lake Michigan. And this is what they actually refer to as the Interpretive Center. This is where I'm gonna be doing a performance. They're going to be having catering and they're gonna have light music. It's gonna be uh, a celebration of a uh, marriage. So we're gonna be doing that here. But what I wanted to show you was the watershed. Now some of you may be wondering, what is a watershed? I was wondering myself. Well, a watershed is an area of land divided by high points that directs all the water into the same place. The Lake Michigan watershed in Highland Park is very small. Only the land east of Green Bay Road falls into this watershed. So when you're looking at the Great Lakes, this right here is where I'm at. All the water comes in here and it stays in there for up to 99 years. This is due to its cul-de-sac formation, which causes the water entering the lake to circulate slowly and remain in the lake for a very long time before it leaves the basin through the Straits of Mackinac and enter Lake Huron. Now, every beach has a very distinctive different kind of sand or beach material that it builds up over time and Highland Park is no different. If you look closely at a handful of sand, it's made of tiny rocks, minerals, and fragments of fossils. Most beach sand is sediment that began as rocks that were slowly broken down by weathering, rain and freeze-thaw, and the grinding action of waves. And even I was surprised to learn of some of the aquatic life that lives in this watershed in Highland Park. You've got brown trout, lake trout, Chinook salmon, coho, smallmouth bass. You've got rainbow trout, which I didn't know they had here. You got walleye, yellow perch, rainbow smelt, lake whitefish, round Kobe, and the list goes on and on. And even though when people think of shorelines, they oftentimes think of aquatic life, the birds play an important role as well. Creating and protecting natural areas along our lakeshore, like Rosewood Beach and Park, provide essential stopover points for birds to rest and refuel. The presence of native vegetation supports insects, berries, and nectar that birds need to keep up their energy. Dead standing trees and other natural features occurring on the lake bluffs and upland savannas create protected areas ideal for resting and foraging. Every year, millions of birds follow Lake Michigan's shoreline during their migration. The North Shore shoreline is a visual guide along the journey that can take birds as far north as the Arctic Circle and as far south as the southernmost point in South America. During this great crossing, birds need food, shelter, and area where they can find protection from predators. The shoreline is constantly being renewed. In fact, from a plant's perspective, the beach represents the beginnings of a life itself. Albeit a harsh, barren environment, lacking in organic matter, regularly swept by water and winds. But life is happening. Tiny seeds blown from other, more established habitats somehow find a protected microclimate on the beach and take root.
Uh, just to let you know, you can always come here. This is a hidden gem. You can rent out the space. It's a great place to celebrate a birthday, anniversary, celebration of life, all of that. And you get to be here right by the crashing waves in Highland Park. And uh, it's a beautiful place just to meditate and think about the meaning of life. Thank you so much for joining me for this installment of There You Go with Brian. And if you like what you've heard here today and seen, then please like and subscribe and consider supporting this channel. Till next time, I'm Brian. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Something old, something new, something for me, something for you. It's a big, big world. Let's check it out.